what I'm going to do today is demonstrate an efficient method of en enabling a lot of different things. Say, if you wanted to load, a, you know, enable a large number of NPCs at a certain point, instead of having to write lots of lines of script, I'll demonstrate a way for you to only be able to. You only have to write one line of script. So, first thing I'm going to do is create some NPCs to enable. And it doesn't matter how many, I'm going to create three just because I don't want to have to be making loads. Um, my NPC 1, and we'll call him NPC. Now I'm just going to find my NPC and create. Anyway, I'm assuming that you have NPCs or items in general, it doesn't have to be NPCs, but you want to enable. But I'm just making some for the purpose of this tutorial. So I've got three NPCs here. So I'm going to go to somewhere in the world so I can place my NPCs. So now that's all loaded, I'm just going to click and drag my NPCs into the vendor window here. NPC 1, NPC 2, and NPC3. So here they all are. So now I'm going to double click on NPC1 and give him a reference ID. So let's call him NPC1Ref. And we're going to do the same for NPC2. So we're going to call him NPC2Ref. And for NPC3, I'm going to call him NPC3 ref. So that was a cut. So the last thing I did was um, give them all reference IDs. So now I'm going to click on NPC3 and scroll across to here, enable parent. This is the important part of the tutorial. This is where I create, this is where I link everything together. So I'm going to select reference in render window and select NPC1. So you'll see now that his enable parent is NPC1, and this green line appears, but it's slightly inside the floor, so it's difficult to see that there is a line connecting the two. So I'm going to go to NPC2 and do exactly the same thing, scroll across to enable parent and reference in vendor window and double click on him. So what, and you'll see this green line appears kind of faintly, it's gone through the ground, but there is one there. So what that means is when NPC1 is enabled, because he is the enable parent of both of these NPCs, they will also enable because they are his children. And so, enabling I've covered in a previous tutorial, but I'm going to just demonstrate the line of script now. So I'm going to create a quest. I'm going to assume that you have a quest in mind for when you want to enable them, but um, my quest. Oh, where should I have done that? Um, Yes, create new object. So I just accidentally renamed the quest, which I didn't want to do. So we're going to want to go to my quest, which is a quest that I made before. 55, start game enabled. And I'm going to go to quest stages. And create stage 10. And so I'm going to assume that you have like a point in your quest in mind for when you want these to enable. But I don't really have that, so it's quite difficult to demonstrate. All I'm going to do, really, this is just for the purpose of showing what you need to write in order to enable the NPC. So the reference ID reference ID of the enable parent was NPC one ref and then just dot enable compile. So what that means is on stage ten NPC one will enable and because NPC one is the enable parent of these two NPCs, they will also enable. So basically it's just it's an efficient way of enabling large numbers of items entities without um without having to write endless lines such and such dot enable such and such dot enable it's just a quicker way and you can have as many a parent can have as many children as you want it to have as far as i know i mean there, there might be limits when you start to get to ridiculous numbers but as far as i know everything that should be all that there is in that tutorial i hope that was useful and clear um thank you for watching goodbye